something which holds not too fast. For example, an automorphism form, by definition, uh, automorphism forms are uniformly slowly increasing. Then, an, unit, uh, an automorphism form, to which you apply the function of pressure, becomes rapidly decreasing. And the third property is that down there T, T on T, T belongs to L2 plus. So that were the, the, the three main problems. So a conclusion, uh, a consequence of that, human consequence of that, uh, you may not, I will not give a brief in detail, uh, otherwise I will never reach my goal. So the, the consequence is uh, there are various consequences. So the first consequence is that lambda t, for example, in k, if I apply lambda t1, which means that one applies lambda t1 in the first variable. Let any 
kind of function act by the revolution. If I really want to restrict to the automorphic forms, the automorphic forms are not stable by the action of the Archimedean part of the group. You have to restrict to a, to a different algebra using the envelope algebra and the algebra on K, something like that. Otherwise, this is not uh, this is not present. But I really I really know this certainty because this plays. Once you know, you have to be careful at the, when writing down carefully the thing. But uh, for everyday life, I would say it's not important. And one think as if it were a representation of the of the group. And in the case of it, it's that. So you really have a representation of G, and then you can restrict to the k-finite vectors, and then you find the domain. So. Uh, so what we really speaking when speak of automorphic representation, not being too careful on what kind of representation we are, representation of the group or representation of an algebra. But then you have to go eventually, you may have to go to a smaller subspace. So not the inverse space, but uh, some uh, fact, uh, space of more regular vector in the universe, in space. So but I will ignore this, this difficulty. It's not a difficulty, but so I will speak more loosely. So let me say in the world, what are general, what is the general notion of automorphic form? This I think automorphic organization. General concept.
Well, we already seen uh, a such place. We know that L to curves is a part which has been defined but as a part of L to gamma operation. Well, in general, there is a slightly bigger space, which is the discrete, the discrete part. And then you have the general space. So this is an ortho gonal composition. You have supplement, supplements. So in fact, the N2 of gamma G is a G discrete plus what we call L2 continuous. OK, let me describe uh, slightly in, in more detail what, what, uh, how they are constructed. Uh, in the simplest non trivial case, the case of uh, GL2. Well, in fact, in the GL2 case, the N2 discrete is the sum of N2 class plus what is called L2 residual for reasons I will explain slightly later later and L2 residual in that case is just the direct sum this completion of one dimensional representation of character one dimensional For GL2, one-dimensional representation figure on page. So I take the character of time in the sense of how many elements here. So one dimensional representation is trivial for trivial on page. Simply a character of the determinant. It's a sort by GL1 of GL2 of the F, that's what I do by GL1 of F. This is the determinant. And uh, usually one uh, does not make the distinction between the character of the determinant and the character of, the, of GL2 itself the other determinant. But strictly speaking, it's a composition with the determinant, of course. And uh, so this is nothing but the, the ideal class. And uh, <coughs> if you want it to occur in the space of automatic form, it has to be figured on the middle of the So it is simply what is called the Grossen character or character of the class hidden class of the old terminology is a Grossen character and uh, you recall that I have inside of that uh, an R star positive that has been embedded diagonally at the Archimedean places, and you ask it that you ask that this character is trivial on this. This is not only for G2, for GSS. It's not it's also true for, uh, I mean, this construction, this construction makes sense for GLM, you want. That's true. Cool. Uh, what is the, what is the true? is that the, the, the discrete spectrum is built only of that. This is very special to GL2. GL2. What is very special to the discrete spectrum? It is built only the, 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 the not just the part of the discrete spectrum. It's, not, it's just the direct sum of one dimensional orientation. Special for GL2. This is special to GL2. The existence of characters, the other determinants, are for any 
in the genetic. But uh, this assumption is completely important. In fact, as uh, I can make, can make a comment, the, the description of the residual Part of the spectrum, the 
pour le milieu. Isoxane va expédier de continuer au strat. Uh, 
Space and Sigma, they have terms of presentation of M. So you take a vector, you take a. Well, how will you define uh, the induced representation? We will define pi uh, W the representation of uh, G A obtained as follows. Consider function f of uh, m and e with value f of g to b such that f of m and e is the sigma of m f of but uh, that's uh, ordinary induction, but uh, one that adds uh, a function factor, which is called E. Uh, 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 so delta of N to the power one half. So it, uh, it, it's, uh, it's a modulus attached to the parabolic circle. So, so the set of Remember, you have uh, mk, f, 
formula map to AM. Now the lambda is some uh, is some linear form. So compose with that, you get the character. And uh, in order to get something for uh, the G, you have to assume that it is triggered on AG, not uh, so. I will assume that lambda is triggered.
So what you do, you consider a function, uh, say, f of t. I will not use f because uh, with the following property. So phi, phi m x, the function m goes to phi m x, so m belongs to m a. So you consider a function like that, such that m goes to phi and x belongs to the to a to, 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 to an automatic realization. As a function of an MA, it is an automorphic form. As a, an automorphic form. As a function of M. And X is fixed or not? Belongs to an automorphic realization of C. What is phi? Hmm? What is phi? Phi, phi, and I consider no. that the way you consider it to construct, uh, I, I try to explain you why you, you construct uh, automorphic forms. So you start, you want to see the function on here. Uh, <coughs> and uh, I will assume, moreover, that the uh, of uh, n x to c of x for n in the uh, I, I have for the u or for n u of u. So I assume that uh, I have uh, a function like that. It's not too difficult because to find such function. If I have another monthly form on n I just extend it. Uh, you have the Ivata Vati composition here. Is U of A, M of A, uh, K, some maximal compact. So, for example, if you want uh, to have it uh, K invariant, it's just a constant of K, and uh, it's determined by uh, its value of M. So, take any, any such function. So, for example, if you are given the, the, the representation of k, it's a, it's a finite dimensional representation, then you have a finite vector space of possible function phi. So, you just take any one. Now, so, you, you, you have, you consider phi, so, again, phi is an n invariant, and according to m, it's a representation. It's an automorphic It's an automorphic function. So it's a vector in the space in some automorphic space for so some automorphic representation. I assume that this representation is single. So this is this is a realization of this this scheme here. But because here I didn't understand which vector I have. So I look into a special vector. I look to a vector. But the vector is a function on M. So, so you, you may you may if you want forget about this uh, this picture and just look at that. So excuse me, you uh, fix sigma at first and then you take sigma some is phi. Given. Sigma is given. Is given. And then you take some phi. Yes. And then you take I some. I consider a vector an automorphic form which belongs to that representation. So that's an automorphic form. So phi is something fixed now, yes? Now phi is fixed. Absolutely. Now I, I, I construct, uh, uh, if, you, if you prefer, I transform I, uh, I, I phi into phi lambda by, uh, by writing f of uh, mx as a uh, and the lambda phi of phi of m. I extend it 
in that way. So that's not exactly the same function. Now, the final lambda, I can construct the, the, the series from of gamma into P of F divided by P of F divided by P of F. This, this is an automorphic function, so uh, this is invariant by, uh, by M of F on the, on the left. And this being so, uh, this value is, this is also trivial on, on M of F. So this makes sense. And uh, it's also constant on U of F, not, on, not only on the U of F, but on the U of F. Okay. So you might then make this, uh, this series, phi lambda of gamma x, and this is what it is called e of x, say phi and lambda. This is an example. Chinese virus belong to uh, do double w lambda. Yes, it's a, it's a vector, it's a vector as a, if, if the, the series was convergent, assume it's convergent, then the, the representation, you have a, the right regular representation by convolution here, convolution on the right, this gives you a realization of the induced representation. So, this should be this should be a vector, so the e dot phi lambda should be an element of the lambda. The only question, the, the only difficulty is that the convergence does not work precisely at the value you are interested in. You would like to look at uh, purely imaginary. And on that, I should say serious uh, basis for this representation. Uh, no, 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 no. A dimension series is a function. Function. It's just a function. Yes. Now you have, you, have a, you have a family of values. You have various parameters. This is the lambda. Assume things are convergent, which is But okay. Forget about the non convergent You have a whole family of functions that are by varying phi. So when you carry phi, you get uh, a bunch of different functions that are different in the latent series. They generate this W lambda. They generate the W lambda, absolutely. When you carry phi, yeah, yeah. That's the, the, the parameter you have to carry to, to, to get the W lambda. Okay. So the, the difficulty is that it does not convert, but still very interesting, but still it's convergent in some region. So generally it's convergent 
triangular, le corps triangulaire matricis. Voilà, une dette case, c'est que c'est une pile plus ou minus 1, 1, n, 0, 1, plus n, plus n, plus n, plus n, plus n, plus n, le paradoxe groupe is the, the, the set of upper triangular matrices. So uh, if you write it in, uh, in the classical notation, to write z equals x times i, I record i. Then, inside the series, E, <coughs> e X, uh, lambda, well, it will be uh, one of the sum over C and D prime. Uh, of two maximum part of D is the S plus one over two, uh, lambda plus one over two, over, two, over C Z plus D absolute value to the S plus one. This is a series like that. Or if you prefer, if you want to multiply by the beta function, the Riemann beta function, then you, you have a uh, This is one half the sum over CD, just different from the zero, and the same series, the same series, imaginary value, the value, to the uh, lambda plus one, lambda two, lambda absolute value, to the plus one. This is a kind of uh, elementary series, but uh, you immediately see, uh, sorry, not S lambda, you immediately see that this is over one, or here of lambda, greater than one. This is a kind of series you get. So this is the simplest example, right? so really one cannot make a simpler example. But still, it's already uh, one thing, which is not uh, completely uh, obvious. <coughs> And uh, the And this is a classical Eisenstein series for eight years, yes? No. No. Classical Eisenstein series are holomorphic. Ah, yeah. While well, here you have an absolute value. The classical Eisenstein series are uh, classical Eisenstein series or so the GK is uh, the sum of one over uh, So, uh, it's pretty much similar, but still, uh, we are in a different uh, picture. You have here an holomorphic object, here you have uh, an analytic object, but certainly not uh, holomorphic. And uh, of course, the convergence problems are similar. The convergence problem is exactly the same. But uh, you are in a different game. Okay? And uh, what happens is that, uh, well, <coughs> is that the convergence uh, does not work where well, you are in the STD? You would like to consider the real part of lambda equal zero. And this is convergent only for real part of lambda greater than one.
Okay, so one knows how to make the NLT continuation. There is an uh, uh, rather elementary way to make the NLT continuation. I will not do it. Uh, I can do it if you want. It takes uh, at least half an hour to explain the NLT continuation. <coughs> yeah, no, I suppose, but, uh, but okay. So, uh, here I have taken the, the, things, uh, the simplest case, I have taken uh, the signal invariant of the K, so I have just taken the K fix vector of a uh, of But uh, so when you have in general, is an analytic or a meromorphic continuation. Imaginary subspace. Imaginary subspace. What, 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 imaginary subspace. what, what I mean? What? Oh. 
here. In fact, there are there are there are not poles, but there are there may be zero. At least of uh, an object that touch uh, at least there can be singularity uh, somewhere here, but uh, I mean in the sense of the logarithmic dimension, but not not too bad. But you definitely have poles. And you have 